right, hello, my name is Ho Jun. I'm a PhD student in a lab here in the Media Lab in the Synthetic Neurobiology Group led by Professor uh, Ed Boyden. And I'm gonna talk about this new technology we de developed in the lab for non-invasive brain stimulation. And I always like to start my talk with this video of a Parkinson's patient who has this thing called resting tremor. So he has this symptom of Parkinson's disease where he can't stop the tremor that he has with his hands. Um, and this patient actually has a, something called a deep brain stimulator in his brain. So we, he actually has a physical, like he has an electrode physically implanted in his brain. And with that little device that you see in that video, we're now actually providing electrical stimulation into his brain. Um, and we're gonna shortly see what that does. The stimulation, when it starts, you see how it stops the tremor. Um, so this is a great technology and it has worked, but unfortunately, this involves, as I said, physically implanting a metal electrode into your brain. And that, as you can imagine, involves a lot of complications, surgery, so not everyone gets this, even if you have Parkinson's. This is like the last resort you will get. Um, so it's a, um, and Parkinson's disease is just one uh, of many potential diseases we can treat with this uh, technology. But unfortunately, as I said, since it's so invasive, it's really difficult to use and it's not ubiquitously used right now, as I said. Um, there are other technologies that are non-invasive, but they're not as good as these physical implantation of the electrodes into your brain. So our lab thought, maybe why don't we uh, combine the uh, benefits of the two to make non-invasive deep brain sti uh, stimulation possible. So that's what we worked on in our lab and the principle is pretty simple. So we have this nice happy face here. We have two or four pads on someone's head and each pad applies high frequency electric fields and their frequencies differ by only a small amount here, delta F. And what that does is we create this complicated field vectors inside your brain, but in there, within certain regions, we actually form this nice envelope of interference that our neurons can pick up and consider that as the stimulation that they can follow. Uh, whereas when we look at the other regions where the interference is not as strong, the, the brain only sees the high frequency activity which you cannot follow because it's too fast. Um, so with this idea in mind, we just you know, tested it uh, in our lovely mice uh, models here, and we pretty much applied this uh, technology to the mouse brain, and we actually uh, recorded their brain activity while our stimulation was going on. And when we, what we saw was, again, as I said, with high frequency stimulation, the brain wasn't doing anything. You can't follow kilohertz frequency. But when we combine our, when we used our technology where we combine two high frequency electric fields that differ only by a small amount, say 10 hertz, the brain can actually follow that and these vertical lines represent the, neuro, uh, the brain cell firing at 10 hertz. So this shows you that our technology can definitely activate the brain to follow the frequency that we apply with this new technology. Um, and then another thing that I wanna show you is just the recruitment of the deep brain regions. So as I said, we wanna be non-invasive, but we also be, wanna be focal. We don't wanna stimulate everywhere in the brain because we don't know what that's gonna do. Again, with the deep brain stimulator that I showed you earlier, it hits the right region at the right time so that we hit the region that needs to be hit and we can treat the disease, for example. So we, our goal was to make sure that our technology can also do the same thing, but without the physical electrode inside your brain. So here, this is again a negative control we used with only high frequency electric fields, the same frequency, and nothing happens in the brain here. We're using a, uh, some, a dye that uh, lights up when your brain actually activates or when your brain actually is moving. So here is our technology, again, with two high frequency fields, but that differ by only 10 hertz, and we were targeting this small region inside the brain, in the mouse brain, and you see how it's almost like we stuck an electrode in there and stimulated this region. Only this region lights up whereas all the other regions that still got our high frequency electric fields didn't, get any, uh, didn't show any responses to our stimulation. So we're very excited about this and now obviously, you know, it worked, it worked great in mice, but what can we do next? We wanna make sure it works in people. So now we're working with people, uh, human testing, and when we, what we do with people is pretty much have these small uh, gel-like pads on your uh, forehead and we connect these pads to our stimulator here, shown here, and that's, this is just a zoom in version of our stimulator. And we have a nice user interface to control all the parameters of the stimulation. Um, and so that's what we're doing right now. And we are hopeful that this will work in people and we can 
ultimately supplant or replace deep brain stimulators with this non-invasive stimulation. Thank you.